Let me just make sure everything works. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> Kana, hi Crypto Agate, how are you? I am doing great. How are you, Kana, today? <laughs> hope every um hope today was lovely for you. Hopefully. Um, let's see. My day was pretty chill. Didn't really do much. Well, today was just one of just a day in the year, to be honest. Um, let's see. The last time we played, we did the dungeon. Was that already a week ago? That feels like it doesn't feel like it was a week ago to me for some reason. That we did the dungeon. I went on for like an extra hour from what I remember. Um, so we did that. I believe we only have one more location or two more locations left here before we are done with um, Tete Ala and before we go back to Silveron. If I, if I'm understanding this correctly, I know that they told us the next place we're going to is Flanor because of the iciness. Um, but while I was like kind of, oh, before I do anything else, let me close another window. Just so that doesn't interfere with the game. Um, while I was kind of like grinding and exploring on my own, I found the the city in the sky. Am I? I don't think I'm supposed to go to that one yet, though, right? Because <laughs> I haven't mentioned it. Um, I'm doing it myself. Just about to head into an appointment, but we'll chat more afterwards. Oh no worries. Don't worry about that, Kana. But thank you so much for stopping by to say hi. Um, am I supposed to go to this? Can I go to this? Let me see. If I get close enough. <laughs> I'm looking forward to finishing the last temple in here. Oh, can I not go to this? Or I probably can. It has a red dot. Okay, the only thing that sucks is the friggin' um, <laughs> staring. Uh, staring this way. Here we go. Maybe if I just run straight into it. Maybe I can't go to this yet. Oops. Or does it have a specific entrance? Okay, I'm gonna try one more time. And if I can't go to this, okay, maybe I can't go to this yet. Unless if I land. All right, then we'll just head straight to Flora. I don't think there's any like in between city that I need to go to. I believe I have not like the best equipment that I could get. Oh, here we go. Exire. Enter. Ooh. Let's see. Can I buy anything here? Let's see, this looks like an inn. Um, how is everyone doing? Everyone's good, okay. I don't need an inn. Mm, or is this an inn or is this someone's house? This looks like someone's house. Oh, I just- I just barged into someone's house. Ah! Let's see, what is this town? Is this a rest stop? Is- No, this is definitely gonna take- It's definitely gonna play into the story somehow. Don't go near that place. What place? Down below? Oh, there's a dog. Hello. This one is Choo Choo. Choo Choo, Choo Choo. Strange name for a dog. Yay! Hello, ma'am. I completely forgot about all of my past hardships when I watched him run around. Oh, I need to be zealous for this. And we're talking to the lady, we need free items. You're a devil? Tomato! Oh, she hates me. <laughs> she hated that, she did not like me. The city of Exile is completely cut off from the surface. Even we don't know what area we're floating over. Really? So you're saying this town is always moving? Is that what happens? Uh, hello, ma'am. Oh, thank you. That's a sad reaction. All of the- Oh, at least she gave me money. All of the girls here just don't seem very impressed with Zelda. She looks like Zelda a little bit. Twilight Princess Zelda. Ew, what is this? Oh, it's the chef guy. I was like, ooh, is this gonna be a cool new function of the game? I am the mysterious gourmet, the wonder chef. I shall teach you the recipe for shortcake. Perfect for that three o'clock snack. People having shortcake at three o'clock. 
Well, at least I learned how to make a nice cake. Shortcake requires three ingredients. Some type of fruit, egg, and milk. Strawberry shortcake. Farewell. I too am a shortcake. Lele, welcome to the stream. Hi, hi, how are you, how are you? Oh, it's the kitty cat. Let's see, go out, where does this go? I don't even know if I'm supposed to be at this. Uh, it, it, I imagine is this an optional town? Because from what I'm gathering from the residents is that this location seems to change every, every so often. Oh, that just goes outside, okay. Oh wait, yeah, did, did the location just change? Oh yeah, now the town's not here anymore. Oh, now it's out in the ocean. Oh, I see, that little red dot. Ooh, okay, so this is an optional town. Okay, but I think without further ado, we can start heading to Flanor, because I don't think there's any other towns we really need to discover. There we go, there's the floating town again, woo! Hello, I'm doing well, just working in gaming, backed up on games right now, too many to play. Dude, I am so backed up on games right now. Technically, I feel like I should have finished Tales of Symphonia by now, um, but because I only follow the two hours a week schedule, uh, the game has been dragging on quite long. I think I'm only 42 hours in, which is not a lot. And I think I'm only technically halfway through the game, so once I get my <laughs> debut, uh, I just plan on... Uh, Right in the games. I, I want to make sure I finish as many of my playthroughs that I currently have on going as I can before Xenoblade X comes out. Because you guys know for a fact that I'm definitely going to be grinding as many hours as that game as I possibly can. If it took me like almost 400 hours to complete it the first time, then on Switch, I'm sure it's going to be even more. Well, who knows? <laughs> I might just like drag on the the, the playthrough just for fun. Uh, Random Dale, hello! Plus all the Tales games are pretty long. Yeah, that's another thing too. Uh, I still have like, you know, other games that my community gifted me on my birthday that I still need to play. There's a lot. And then I also definitely for sure want to play more Tales of games in the future. I own Tales of Arise. I don't know when I'm going to get to that, but at some point I will. Uh, whoops, I did not mean to go back to the field. Oh, this place looks nice though. I like the architecture. It reminds me of Octopath. Like one of the towns in Octopath Traveler. Hello, sir. This area is always covered with snow because of the ice caves. Okay, now we have a dog. So, Colette. And then we'll switch back to Zelos for talking to all the ladies. This one is Poochie. Ah, oh, Poochie, that's an overused dog name. Come on, be a little more creative than that, Colette. Um, I want to put more time into Metaphor. I gotta be Persona 3 Reload, newest Legend of Zelda game, new Dragon Quest 3 Remake came out, too many games. Oh, I saw everyone raving about Dragon Quest earlier today. Everyone was seems so happy. I've never played a Dragon Quest game, but I feel like I should as, as well. Um, oh, are my sounds not working? Did you guys hear uh, an alert sound? Because I did not. Hopefully, though, uh, if not, I'll have to fix those. Um, plus, Dead by Daylight, every event right now giving out a ton of points I want to farm. Dude, I've heard how toxic that game can be, Dead by Daylight. <laughs> uh, but thank you for the resubscription. Uh, Udoku Meow. Uh, it's been seven months. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I was just trying out Honkai Impact 3rd and discovered how much I hate the gameplay. I hear more people praise the story than they do the gameplay. Um, cause Honkai Impact 3rd is completed, right? Um, from what I'm aware of. Um, so, and I also don't think that really, um, Hoyoverse really advertises that game anymore because it's done. Um, so I imagine they're not really gonna fix anything about the gameplay. <laughs> um, I did not either. Oh, there was no sound? Damn it. Okay, I'm... I'll make a note for myself and make sure that I fix those later. Because you guys won't be able to hear my beautiful stingers that I literally got commissioned. Well, technically I didn't get the commission that came for free with my uh, background music, but... <laughs> <clears throat> Honestly, the newest Dragon Quest game is a great entry point. Dragon Quest XI is a really good game. There's 11 of them? Sheesh. Wait, no, there's more than that. There's more than 11. Well, at some point, well, you know, I watched that Dragon Quest movie, the one on Netflix, and it was horrible. <laughs> a long time ago. When did I watch it? Was it during quarantine? 
I can't remember, but I did not watch that movie when it first came out. I think I came across it because I was in the mood to watch something fantasy. And then I watched that movie and I was like, wow, this movie sucks. I just wasted like an hour and a half of my life. <laughs> One day Twitch will stop sending me notifications um, that you're playing Metaphor. Really? You know, actually, have I updated my Twitch schedule? I. I don't think so. I think it still says Digimon on it. I gotta fix that. I know some people also use that for notica notifications, but I don't know. It's rough. Twitch just sucks. That's all. That's all we can say. <laughs> Twitch sucks. <laughs> um, the tendonitis does not like repeated button presses. Okay, you know, the word tendonitis. Okay, I swear. I don't know why, but when I was in college, I worked a retail job. And for some reason, all of my coworkers were like gaslighting me into telling me that tendonitis was not a real thing. Like, um, I I remember I was in the break room, and there, and one of my coworkers was complaining about her like wrists and her hand joints, and saying like how like you know how much it hurt and stuff. And I was like, oh, like, are you? Do you know if it's developing into tendonitis or something like that? And then. I think there was like three other coworkers in the room with me and everyone turns to me and they're like, do you mean arthritis? And I was like, no, tendonitis. And they're just like, Krypta, that's not a real thing. And all four of my coworkers were telling me tendonitis was not a real thing. And they were like laughing at me. They were like, you mean arthritis, right? And I was like, no, like I swear tendonitis, it's a real thing. And they're like, no, that's not real. And I don't know, uh, that tendonitis has just been in limbo in my head until right now where finally someone else is like confirms that it's real to me yeah and i remember i couldn't like at, at the time when i was working that realtor job that break room had like really bad wi-fi so i couldn't even like look it up to show my coworkers that it was a real thing and then i think after that i just kind of forgot about it but yeah they were like all trying to tell me like <laughs> like oh you mean arthritis like they're trying to they were basic i don't know if they were intentionally gaslighting me but they were basically telling me that tendonitis was not a real thing and they they were laughing at me because they thought i i miss said arthritis into something that they thought didn't exist i don't know that was a thing <laughs> and my coworkers were not bullying me let, let me just get that straight but like they, they thought that i was uh they thought i had a slip of tongue and that's why they were laughing but yes um hence why i have to enjoy the tales games via walkthrough yeah uh the button presses i'm so glad that i like i i mean i may have crooked fingers but i for the most part i it's only really my thumbs okay my thumbs when i play like with joy cons if i'm ever playing with just one joy con i can never use the blue ones i always i only have to use the red ones because the way that the blue ones are situated and the way that like m the crookedness of my the, my finger joints bend it like kind of pokes out if i use the blue ones so i have to use the red ones so they don't poke out as much if that makes sense it's a real medical diagnosis see i don't know why my coworkers were being like that and they didn't believe me when i told them that tendonitis was a real thing i don't know that that was like a weird like glitch in time for me or like glitch in the universe <laughs> um too much writing for my degrees i mean hey uh, you're that that's some useful information though <laughs> uh let's see what are we doing who's this guy cr crouching in the corner I want to talk to the lady. I want her to give me free stuff. Oh, fine pellets. What even are fine pellets? Have I even really, <clears throat> have I even really used them? Is it food? It must be food. That's probably why I don't really click in this game. Um, who are you, sir? Crouching very suspiciously. Uh, are you alright? Oh, he's sick. <laughs> I thought he was like trying to keep himself like low key. Please, hang on. I'm sorry. It seems I've been struck by evil energy. Uh, evil energy? Do you by any chance possess the devil's arms? The devil's arms? Is that a weapon? The evil eye that you possess this is one of the devil's arms. I have an evil eye on me? When did I get that? <laughs> uh, who are you? My apologies. My name is Abyssion. Wow, what a very edgy name. I'm the last surviving member of a family of demon hunters. I'm Lloyd. 
I'm on a journey with my companions. What does a, a family of demon hunters do? There was once a man named Nebulim who attempted to conquer Tethalia. Tethalia, sorry. Why did I pronounce it like that? <laughs> uh, Nebulim was eventually defeated by a single swordsman, but his lingering hatred fused itself into the swordsman's nine pieces of arms and cursed the swordsman's descendants. Wow, that's pretty scary. The family of demon hunters are the descendants of the swordsman who defeated Nebulim. Every member of my family lost their lives to the curse of the Devil's Arms. That's terrible. Can anything be done? What's the family do? Diet, apparently? They all do. They always do. There's always a, a lone survivor <laughs> who has to carry on the legacy in these stories. If all nine items are gathered and sealed, the family curse will be lifted. So, my guess is I have to collect nine things now. So that's why you asked us about the Devil's Arms. Yes, however, the curse has progressed more quickly than I expected. And I, too, have been struck by Nebulim's evil energy. I think it would be difficult for me to continue gathering the Devil's Arms in my condition. Let's help him, Lloyd. Yeah, after all, we already have some Devil's Arms. Let's find the rest ourselves. Yeah, we were just carrying these things super casually, just waiting for the right moment for us to, to need them and use them. <laughs> Are you sure? It is not a minor task. So is this a side quest or is this a main quest? Dwarven vow number two. Never abandon someone in need. Then, please take this sword and key. The devil's arms carry the will of Nebula, and the pieces respond to each other. When the sword reacts, you will surely find devil's arms in that area. When you have collected all of the arms, please return to Flanor. Nebulim and Nebulim's key. Does the curse of the Devil's Arms affect anyone besides members of your family? Hmm? No, it shouldn't. What is it, Persea? No, it's nothing. Okay then, we'll be back soon, Abyssion. Thank you. I am in your debt. Hmm... Interesting. What does this have to do with Persea, by chance? What is this? Oh, save point. Hello, ma'am. Is this the inn? Squid! Oh, I love squid. Oh, I haven't had squid in a hot second. Okay, I don't think anyone really needs... No, I already checked that. That's right. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. <laughs> okay, so... If that was a side quest... Nebulum? How do I equip that? Is it something I can equip? Or is it just something that I'm gonna have like in my in my inventory and, and it will react when it wants to react? Like go down, eee! bruh. Oh, their hat is so cute. Oh, wait, actually, that reminds me of my coworker today when she brought in her two-year-old son. He was wearing a beanie that kind of looked exactly like this. Oh, Zelos, please don't flirt with a child. Where did you get miracle gel from, child? That's my bigger question. Oh, oh, excuse me. Do you have, do you by chance have any Celsius tear? Celsius tear? What's that? Celsius tear is a famous ice flower in Flanor. It has the mysterious power to freeze anything. Freeze anything? I don't know of anything like that. I see. If you find any, please let me know. I'll pay whatever you ask. Okay. Also, be careful when handling the Celsius tear. If you touch it directly, you'll be badly burned. Then, how do we get it? You'll be fine if you touch it with penguinist gloves. Penguinist gloves? Ask the old man at the Snow White accessory shop about it. Is this like... Why are they giving me a whole bunch of fetch quests? <laughs> uh, whoa. You guys all look like you're frozen. Oh, there's a line. Well, I'm just gonna skip the line. Don't care if you get mad at me. Uh, hello? You all have colds too? Almost every patient who comes here has a cold. I wonder why. Uh, probably because it's cold outside. Okay. 
Um, where is the other shops? Um, hello, Missy. Um, brain clicked back in. What on earth did you just say? What did I say? What did I say? <laughs> Pineapple gels. Where are all these kids getting all the, the gels from? How, how do they have the money for this? Let's see, we need Colette to talk to the doggy. Give this doggy a name. Penny. Wait, did I... Uh, oh, I was about to say, have I already named it? But no, I didn't. Alright, child, are you a boy or a girl? Oh! Flanor Potion. Template increases... I guess I'll buy one. You never know when you'll need it. Braid. Just buy one of everything. I have so much money! Sheesh! Alright, any weapons or armor? Well, at least she is dead. Uh, she's uh, devoted, committed. That's the word. Uh, whoa! This place is huge. Uh, just ran into someone else's. Oh, is this the accessory shop? Welcome, Snow White. Okay, here we go. Drain potion, stone heal, heal bracelet. Ah, uh, nah. Increase magic XP, restore the army defeated, moonstone. Wow, that is expensive. Um, I need to talk to the old man about the gloves. Hmm, you want to know about the penguinus gloves? Penguin something? Oh, yeah, these things. Penguinus. I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Penguinus gloves. Penguinus gloves are nice. Warm mittens made from quills of penguinus, which dwell in the ice caves. Hmm, let me see. If you had three penguinus quills, I could make a pair for you. Okay, so that seems like I need to... Okay, so I need to fight some penguinus. I need to find the devil's arms. Um, what else is there? Oh, let's go on this side. This is a big town. I'm gonna get lost in here. Hello, girl. Little girl. Give me, give me some sort of gel. A dark bottle. What the hell? Why do all the children have the most questionable stuff? Timber increases enemy encounter rate. Why do you have that, child? Why do you have that? Where are your parents? What is this? Is this the church? Oh, yes. This is the church. Um, hello, madam. Got some rice. Are you a lady? Oh, wait, no, not you. Panacea bottle, okay. Um, hmm. I have to make sure I'm keeping track of everything that we gotta do. Um, okay, there's still a couple more locations in the town that I haven't been to, so this way... Um, there's no armor shop or weapon shop, or is this... or is this it? Hiya, welcome! Oh, here we go. Grade? Material exchange? Oh, well, blah, 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 blah. I did not mean to press that. Um, oh, wait! I should have a lot of grade! I haven't really used any of it until now. Mermaid's Tears? <gasps> wait, I definitely need a bunch of these. Because I don't have a lot. Wait, let me see what I need to upgrade first. We're not doing customizations yet, bruh. Well, then how am I supposed to know what to spend my grade on? Dragon Tooth. Shining Star. Thunder Scepter. Card of Ice. Heading Sword. Divine Lance. Power Greaves. What? Why does all your stuff suck? Okay, let's buy one Silver Guard for Colette. Let's buy one for Eugenius. One for you. One for you, one for you. Okay. And then we'll equip. What was I trying to buy? Was it this? Mm, ancient robe. Oh, but the evasion goes down by a lot. Hmm, which is better? 
Um, maybe I'll keep the evasion. I don't know. I'll just put the silk robe on you instead. Luck? Um, ah, uh, I think this is okay. Star, so cloak. The luck on you, I guess that one can go down. Lapis bracelets, do 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 do, power greaves, and cloak. Here we go, battle cloak, straw hat. Luck, uh, I wouldn't really trade that for more defense. Protector evasion. I'd rather keep your evasion pretty high. Same with your defense. Uh, no, I won't sacrifice that much luck just for a little bit. Okay. Then is there anything I can sell that... Maybe not those. Bear claw? Wait. I have a better weapon for him. Why did I not equip it? Sheesh. Okay. Now let me sell things I know we're not gonna use. Power Greaves and Venom. And then... Guard. Sell one of those, sell one of that, sell one of that. Uh, okay. Cross Helm. Dual helm. Oh, that's right. I didn't equip um, Mr. Man with his thing. Sure. Alright, just preparing. Never know when you're gonna need more money, I guess. And then, yep, think that's it. Okay, perfect. So we have weapons, we have armor. Um, suspicious looking. Oh, wait, this is the chef guy. Is he dead? Wonder Chef. What is this? Wonder Chef. Pac Man! <gasps> it's an Easter egg! Bigfoot. <laughs> Love that. Okay, so we've been there. It's time to go down this way. Uh, this was the entrance. Oh, is that everything? Okay. So, ex so, sir. How do I know when I'll have all of Devil's Arms? Will the game tell me? Okay, we need to fight. What is it? Something by the ice caves? Oh, whoops. So that way we can make those penguinus gloves. So where are the ice caves is the question. Oh, well that thing wants to attack me either way, so. This is gonna be a piece of cake. So I need three quills, I believe you said. Oh, this guy's tanky. That was just warming up. They didn't give, failed at making a fruit cocktail? How can you fail at a fruit cocktail? That's like one of the easiest things to make. Um, okay. Penguinus quills. Maybe if I fight a couple things. Not much of a oh, there we go. There's penguins. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Look at them. That's a, another plushie right there. The gnome can be a plushie. The ladybugs can be a plushie. The penguins can be a plushie. Are you okay? There's not as much stuff in it that you would think. What the? <laughs> Was that a big Okay, level up. Um, how do I know if they drop stuff though? Let me see, let me just walk around the whole area. Ooh, conversation. Oops. This penguin, is penguin. Oh, I'm spider. <laughs> Don't tell me if, if monsters drop something, right? So maybe those penguins just didn't happen to drop anything? I was just warming up. Uh, Kratos? Why is he here? Uh, it's Kratos. 
Why are you here? Randomly? It's you. I was just looking at the sky. Don't lie! Then, how about... I was scheming how to get rid of those that are in your... Yggdrasil's way. Now, are you satisfied? You seem well. What? Lloyd, don't be so trusting. There may be those close to you who are malicious. Like you? You're talking about yourself. Hmm. We'll see. Have you ever... Juda... Judasius? Is it Zealous? Or is it the... Or is it Regal? Because they, they're, they're the most sus people on our on our party right now. Suddenly, Mr. Man... I know, I was like, that was so random. I was like, wait a second. Why is Mr. Man here? <laughs> no, I shall excuse myself. Or maybe it's Prisea. That is true. But, I mean, we did help Prisea. She's in debt to us. So if she betrays us, then she's just a bad person. I forgot to ask what Judy... Judicious. I don't know how to pronounce that. But I, I know that word, but I can't remember. I don't remember how to pronounce it. <laughs> um, okay. I don't see any caves. So the penguins... I guess I do have to fight them just on the go? I feel like... It uh, feels like there should have been something there. What is this? Temple of Ice. Oh, okay. Um, let's not enter there just yet. Let me see what's over here before we head in. Oi! Reinforcements, huh? I want to complete the Devil Arm side quest. Is it a side quest? If it is a side quest, then I feel like we should do that first before the Temple of Ice. Anything here? I'll probably, if I'm gonna do the 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 double arm side quest, and I'll make sure to like look look up at a kind of a guide ish, so I know exactly where to go, so we're not wasting time. Um, Ju Judicus, having good judgment or common sense. Ye. Very unlikely you to be brooding. <laughs> Whatever, we could just be so rude to him. Very unlikely you unlike you to be brooding. Hey. What are you trying to say? Well, you act like there's nothing wrong even when there is. What? You really seem to... I mean, um, forget it. He seems very insightful for a very, um, what do you call it? Tone-deaf boy. <laughs> what? Come on, Zealous. You can tell me. You're like the only other guy who's like close to our age you can talk to. No, no, no. It's not like me. Anyway, you just totally impressed me with what you just said. Oh. Oh? That's all you have to say? <laughs> Why not? Okay, let me just fight all these things because they're gonna get in my way. Pangies! Oh, these are not pangies. What are these? Get the friggin' mages and the other... other range enemies out of the way. Page is down! Hawkeye! Not Hawkeye. Even a oh, they didn't give as much experience as I thought I would. This place sucks. Where where is even a good spot to grind around here? I feel like the 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 mo the place that I was given the most experience was the uh the area we just went to. Uh the the last stream. What was that called? <laughs> You're in real world. <laughs> With the, with the gnomelets, but even then it only gave at max like maybe 240 experience, and that's not a lot. But then again, I guess we're only halfway through the game, so we don't really need to post game grind just yet. That was just warming up. Just warming up with some soup. Okay, let's do the side quest first. Let me let me make sure. Uh, to be able to successfully navigate for the first floor. The gloves are made by the old man on the sixth floor. The item shop looks like the gloves. You can go. Uh, do all your business in Ozep before heading inside. Um, I think I did everything I need to in Ozep. I don't know why I, I keep getting recommended to do 
something in a Z. Something something mine? I forget what it was called. <laughs> wherever wherever the place was called where the gnomelets were. Um How do I get the quills? Why can I check to see if I have them? How do I know that I have them? Neblim. Oh! Um, this weapon is not good for anybody. What was the point of giving it to me? <laughs> Ruby. Squid, cabbage, beef. Neblim's key. There we go. When a cursed weapon is near. Oh, so it, it's probably just gonna react on its own, huh? Okay. Unicorn horn. So I, I'm gonna assume I don't have any quills. Okay. Um. Not quills from pingies. I mean, if they drop one, will the game tell me? If not, I'll, I'll look up a different suggestion guide of how to do this. Because I want to do the side quest, because we haven't really come across a lot. We did the unicorn thing, which I think was a side quest. Oh, there we go. Penguinus Quill. We only have two. We need one more. At least I got a free magic lens from that, so that's good. Alright, another. I need another big boy. Big boy monster. Because I think we need these gloves in order to do this side quest. Oh, he just came right at me. You guys stalking Didn't even have to throw myself out there. I love how they like fight with a snowball. It reminds me of like the those like beetles in like Animal Crossing that roll the balls during the winter time. Or like when it snows and then they just roll the snowballs. Man, I miss Animal Crossing. When are they gonna come out with the next Animal Crossing game? They didn't drop any quills. Oh, whoops, don't wanna enter. Go back, go back! We need one more. One more quill, one more quill. There we go. Big guy. I really hope that the next, like, Animal Crossing game, whatever they decide to do, is a little more, like, interactive, I guess. Like, I really liked New Horizons, but something that I wish was, I wish, like, the little decorations you could put were a little more, like, were a little more, like, interactive, like, oh, magical cloth and miso. Um, like, the amusement park stuff that you can get as, like, default for your... For your um town i wish you could actually like ride them like that would be so cute like those like little riding animations eh. or i guess maybe i also kind of wish it was like not much of a I don't know, maybe like some el elements of like stardew valley would be cute like have little side quests like actual like i don't know i i just i feel like um uh, animal crossing it has like the design part but there's, there's like a story element that's missing from it. And then again, I guess not every like chill game needs to have a story. Maybe it's something like Harvest Moon type of story. I don't know. I feel I want to see something new and innovative in the next Animal Crossing game. Should they, if they decide to do a new one. I was looking at Twitter like a couple weeks ago when it was close to Halloween. Because I saw Animal Crossing was trending. And I was like, why is Animal Crossing... New Horizons trending, and I looked, and it's everyone posting like their cute like Halloween decorations and setups in the game, and I was like, oh, that's so cute. I keep debating starting my Animal Crossing Island again, and then I just don't. I mean, it's been like what four years since the game came out. I feel like even though I put in so much time into the game when it first came out and like my current island, I would start over again because it's been so long, you know. Start fresh, enjoy it from the beginning. And at the time I was sharing the island with my brother and I know for sure if I restarted it He wouldn't care because he's never gonna play it again. He didn't even really play it much the first time when it came out Just in just so they don't go full Harvestella. I mean, yeah, like I don't want them to be like yeah, you're right like that level 
of interactive or more content, but I, I, I feel like that once, once you get your five star island and you have all your design, like the design or the look of your island, it's like, it's like, well, what now? Basically, it's like I, I gathered all this stuff just to like enjoy it for a little bit, but then like, if I can't interact with anything, then maybe it's not as, like, it, it doesn't retain your, your uh, attention as much after you've kind of like gotten the look of Here the island go. that you want. Why are no more penguins showing up? Chat, summon penguins for me. Penguin ritual. I need pengies. That's it? Pengisan. Pengisans, where are you? Damn, of course they only had to drop two when you need three. I just need one more. The little DLC thing, Happy Home Designer, gives it a little more life. I I never ended up getting the DLC that I really wanted to for Happy Home Design, but I think I was broke one at the time. Uh, <laughs> or, so I didn't, I didn't uh, buy it. I, I really wish I did because it actually looks cute. Because I also like designing little homes, or like designing the rooms. That was my favorite part of Animal Crossing was designing my own house. And like seeing how Happy Home Designer was just basically based around that. And I was like, oh, so cute. But yeah, just something that gives it like a more like living life type of element. I need a big boy. I need a big boy. There we go. We demand penguins game. Oh, there they are. Yes. Okay, now they better drop quills. Better drop quills. These penguins are people. Oh yeah, they have faces. What the heck? <laughs> They're like wearing little onesies. That's so funny. Man, die. That's it. Okay, there we go. We got one quill. That's all we need. Woo! Okay, head back into the town. Get those gloves made, and then we'll do the little side quests. Oh wait, I'm not going the right direction. There we go. Oi! This is gonna be a piece of I mean, hey, I'll get, a, I'll get experience where I can. We don't know how the next temple is gonna play out. <laughs> I could be underprepared. You never know. Oh, did, did Flanor have a potion shop? I don't think I walked into a potion shop. I think they had one. You picked the wrong guy to mess with. Probably best I also stock up on potions if I can. I think I'll need more, like, revival potions. That's for sure. Uh, this was the inn. Uh, not you. Um, oh, I also need to give, what, what did I need to give this guy? The Celestius tier? Okay, but penguin squaws. Gloves. Penguin is gloves. <laughs> um, what was this again? Just someone's house? Yes, they weren't selling anything. Can I go in here, whatever this is? No. Hello, sir. I've brought the penguinus quills. Oh, you have three penguinus quills. I'll make you a pair of penguinus gloves. Give the quills to me. Oh, good, good. This is my first job in a while. Now, just wait there a minute. There, it's done. It's a pair of penguinus gloves. Please take them. Uh, nope. You're only selling, that's right, just things. Okay, I got the gloves. Now I gotta go speak to that, oop. To that, uh, what was here? Did I go here? I did go here. It was just the church, which was not selling anything. The wait, I haven't come across the Wonder Chef here. Where is he? Is he in this town somewhere? Oh, there's a burger over there. Is that a burger? What is that? Hey, hey, everyone's in my way. That was a burger or something. <laughs> I am the mysterious gourmet, the Wonder Chef. I shall teach you the recipe for a dish with a delicate balance of flavors. Quiche. I've only had quiche one time, and sadly, the 
uh, the one time I had a, the quiche, um, I was <laughs> I was at Panera Bread, and I saw the the quiche like in like the display thingy, and um, when I ordered it. I didn't think that they were just gonna take it straight from the display and just hand it to me. Like, they didn't even like heat it up or anything. Like, they just like literally took it from the glass display and gave it to me and I was like, oh, um, that does not look appetizing. And it was not. I ate it, you know, yucky room, like cold room temperature quiche. And I was like, I paid money for this. I, I think they were supposed to heat it up, but I think the employee that was like, Ha like uh, handling me just forgot and so when he just gave it to me he wasn't re he wasn't really thinking and I was like oh because I remember when I ordered it, it was my first time ever at Panera Bread so I, I was like are they supposed to heat this up or am I actually supposed to eat this room temperature and it was disgusting but <laughs> yeah that's the only time I've ever had a quiche can't say I've ever had quiche it's not a very common meal in a lot of places I think like, what country eats quiche the most? France? No. I don't know. At least in America, it's not a very commonly eaten dish. But I learned how to make it. Quiche requires two ingredients. Egg and some type of meat. So yeah, I need like a quiche redo. 